What's up everybody, this is Mega Android. Going to be doing my initial review of the Huawei Ascend. First we're going to be starting with the overall physical factor of the Huawei Ascend. Okay, you got a white back, nice and sleek, a 5 megapixel camera. You have nothing on this side. On this side you have one volume rocker. Nothing over here. And on the bottom you have one micro USB port and you got a little uh, microphone right there or whatever you want to call it and then at the top you have 3.5 millimeter headset jack and then right here you have your power button on the bottom you have your Android touch sensitive keys that you see with most Android phones and you know it's home menu back search and they all work really well you know so and another thing um, we want to get into is, is it faster than the first Huawei Ascend? How does it run with games and, you know, perform? Well, it actually performs good and it has an Adreno. It has an Adreno 200 uh, GPU in it, which is really awesome. So, it runs games like Angry Birds with no problem. And there's a lot of things people want to see is benchmarking. So we're going to do a benchmark test right now. If I can find out where it is. There it is. I overlook stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Run full benchmark. As you can see, it runs, you know, 3D applications a lot better than the Ascend one would. I mean, it, it just, it's a lot better upgrade, especially for the price. I mean, I paid 134 for it online. The only complaint I have with that is they took like three weeks to ship it to me. I mean, it's supposed to be overnight. But I seem like I'm the only one that had that problem. So, but other than that, everything's good. Definitely, if you want to have a cheap Android phone, you should definitely upgrade. And there we have it. It scored at 818, just right below the Samsung Galaxy S. And it's higher than the HTC Magic, Moto Droid, Motorola Droid, Sony Xperia, HTC Desire, and the Nexus One. And earlier it was higher than the Galaxy S. It was like at a 910. So it, it averages out. But anyways, it, it benched higher than the Galaxy S. And a lot of people will say, which phone to get better? The LG Optimus C or the Huawei Ascend 2? Well, let me put this in perspective for you. This is Gingerbread 2.3.3. And, and it has a 3.5 inch screen. No multi-touch though, which is kind of a bummer, but I would rather have this, my personal preference, because I like big screens. Um, there's your benchmarking results. We're going to see how Angry Birds runs. But yeah, that's why I would like this phone over the Optima C, just because of the 3.5 inch screen because the performance is equal now. Now before, on the old Ascend, you had to turn off the wallpaper to get it to run right and disable the ads. This one you ain't gotta do that. Oops. I know a lot of people like this game but I really don't play it that much. And it runs fantastic. Then I can just hold this down 
and you can see all your recent apps that you have open and you can switch between them so it's like real multitasking I guess you can say and you can go home now the default launcher wasn't that good I'm gonna say so I upgraded to Launcher Pro which is what I suggest you guys do it has a nice little um, toggle bar at the top of the notification screen you have all your notifications the um, messaging app on here looks really nice I know you probably see that number but it's disconnected so fuck off if you're gonna try to call it but um yeah so everything right here it looks pretty cool it types really good actually on the Sin one it was kind of sluggish when it came to typing on here it's not you know it, it, it's it's pretty much fast so you know and if you go back we can do it in portrait mode it's pretty much fast there too let me erase what I just wrote so it's pretty quick it keeps up and another thing that I wanted to say is it has a 3D gallery which is really freaking cool so get into that These are pictures of my son. Really cool. No multi-touch though. I don't get it, but it's whatever. You have all these photos and stuff. Let me get out of here before you see something you're not supposed to. <laughs> but anyways, this is my initial review. One thing I forgot to mention is the camera. It's a 5 megapixel camera. It's actually a pretty decent camera. It has no autofocus though. And it has no flash. But it's actually a pretty decent camera. And I'm going to have two videos uh, later on today or to tomorrow. One showing the video quality. And two showing the picture quality in day and night. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to do a battle video also for the Ascend 1 and the Ascend 2. So stay tuned for that. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Catch you later.